Real music, real interviews, real information. That's why we call it Real Gospel with the x Man. simply love this song from Shantae Moore called The Right One. And after Right One, we're going to hear from her in a live interview. This is Real Gospel. One breath is all it takes. One heartbeat at a time. Don't look too far off in the distance. These are mountains left to climb. I don't worry about the end. Cause I know the fight is big. Says to me over and over, I love you. Come in. Who said too many mistakes? Who said you could never change? They must not know about your grace. I'm living to live again. Look back, remember when. Had no hope, couldn't see through my tears. The right man never thought I'd. time I make a mess, you remind me it's okay. The scars that you see are the lessons and the beauties in the pain. Searching for relief while your mercy chases me. If I knew back then what I know now, I wouldn't change a thing. Who said too many mistakes? Who said you could never change? They must not know about your grace. I'm living to live again Look back, remember when Real Gospel is the place where God gets the glory and artists tell their stories. And when I say I am honored, I am honored to have this 
this this icon in the music industry with me on today, the one and only Shante Moore. Welcome to Real Gospel. Oh, thank you very much for having me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> great kind of, great in, 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 in introduction, that's the word. That's right. And <laughs> yeah, so that, that quick, let me pause for a second because somewhere out there, someone probably almost swerved off the road because I say Shante <laughs> Moore in gospel music so so yes 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 and a quick disclaimer by the way Shante because um I used to be a a a a secular radio personality so a lot of your other music I sort of helped you know put that in the atmosphere out there I just want to say so I am a huge fan of yours I just want you to know Thank you very much. Thank mm-hmm. you. I appreciate it so much. You're it's welcome. Been, it's been good all that time, even with the love songs to support man. So, <laughs> it's a blessing. It's really good. Well, you know, here's a quick joke before we get into your music. And that is, I forget who I was listening to one day. I think it was Tony Terry. It, it was somebody that was that was being interviewed, and someone asked him, uh, because as a matter of fact, he had, it was Tony Terry. He had done a uh, a gospel song, and so someone asked him, "Well, what what do you what do you listen to? You know, when you're with your wife or something like that?" He says, "You know, I love Pastor Shirley Caesar, but when I'm with my wife, I'm not reaching for her." <laughs> when I want to, <laughs> I'm not reaching for <laughs> that right now. So, you know, I want something different. So, but anyway, sure. yes, yes. Now, for people who may not be familiar with you or just, just share a little bit about uh, who you are and where you're from and then how you first fell in love with Jesus with the listeners. Well, I was born in the church, really. My father is a preacher, an evangelist, and my mother also was a minister of music and it just has been all that I know. Um, I, I have couldn't listen to anything but gospel music until I was about 13. So um, all the spinners and Shaka and everybody who was out before, before before I was 13, I didn't have any idea. Uh, there was some stuff that I heard, you know, at school or whatever, passing mm-hmm. by. I remember the very first time I ever heard Shaka Khan singing, um, um, here comes the train. I went to Hollywood. I was like, who is that? Mm-hmm. I just like stopped dead in my tracks because I had no idea who she was. But I, de- I never felt like I missed anything because of having grown up on Andre Crouch and um, Tremaine Hawkins and the Hawkins family and um, just the, the Imperials. And it just it was uh, I mean, just so many wonderful artists that brought the music like they do now. There's music now that sounds like similar to the world but it has a different spirit to it and um so i just i love the lord and i've always loved him and and i still love the lord and i've always loved the lord i haven't Mm -hmm. always lived what i know but (laughs) he's always had his hand on my life you know and that's the beautiful part is that he never lets us go even if we walk away he's still going okay yeah there's purpose and i from the foundation of the world i knew who you were and i know where you're going so that's the piece that I have in 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 who I am and what I am doing, um, and I'm no, I'm not going to be a quote unquote gospel artist. I'm still going to sing love songs, uh, man to woman, because I believe we need people to show love in so many ways. There's people who will never go to church who will listen to my music and come to my concerts who need to hear about who God is, and they they will hear it. They have heard it before uh, a gospel song ever came out. I talk about the Lord because He is my God. He is my Father. So. Amen. Amen. Uh, as we say in the church, I'm going to put a pin in it right there and come back to that in a second. But you said something that caught my attention earlier and you said uh, your dad was an evangelist. And yes. so uh, I've been in church just a little while. And so uh, evangelist is a pretty big deal. So uh, for people who, who may not be familiar with the term evangelism or evangelist, that's serious business. So you didn't just grow up. You got some church growing up. <laughs> yeah, well, well, evangelist is different because he traveled telling the world about the Lord. It wasn't just we're going to church on Sunday and then we come back home. My dad went to Vietnam and to Africa and to, you know, China and just, I mean, he went everywhere. I mean, we traveled the road on, and, you know, then it was cars only. <laughs> I didn't fly till I was in my 20s. Um, but we drove Canada. I mean, mm. we were everywhere. Um, 
spreading the word about who God is. My dad is a really, really great preacher. He's 88 now. He lives with me. He was who's knocking on the door if anybody heard that. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, hey, I'm like, I'm on the phone. Give him a shout um, out real quick. Give him a shout out. <laughs> Papa Larry Moore is my daddy. Yes. Dr. Larry Moore. Um, he's been doing this a long, long time. And I, I thank God for his life and his testimony and what he has done, his influence in my life. And without him and my mom, you know, I wouldn't know who God is on a personal level. People hear about who God is as far as, oh, he's way up in heaven. He's way up there and he's way. Mm -mm. Uh, I love that they introduced him to be a God of right here, right now. But we are the church. You know? I remember my parents praying. You know, I walk in on them praying. <laughs> yeah. Them on their knees together. And that influence uh, has changed my whole life. Amen. Amen. Amen to that. Now I'm going to pull that pen out of where I put it earlier. Pull it out. Pull yeah, because you, you talked about you talked about um, talking about God and invoking God at your concerts, and so that immediately brought to mind um, the, uh, someone we lost in the music industry, which was DMX, because he was he was although his music and I know we're talking about DMX on a gospel show. Oh my good. goodness! But I mean, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Well, for those of us who, because you know, I was a fan of his and mm -hmm. and grew up on his music, but it is true that uh a little different i, I don't want to go too far into that i'm just i'm just going to touch mm -hmm. on the ability to sort of bring god into a space where normally you wouldn't find god and yeah. his his supporters fans always appreciated that part of it and so when you when you are uh invoking god or, or, or speaking about uh the truth of god at your shows what's that mm -hmm. like well, it's a testimony. It, it is it, your life either is a part of his plan or it, or you're not in the middle of it. You know what I mean? It, it, I believe it's not something you pick up and put down. If God has his hands on your life, he has his hands on your life. That's why I said before the foundation of the world. And then he knows the end from the beginning. So all things, that means all of them, the ups, the downs, the sin, the, the great things, the shining parts. And we think we're doing great. He said it's all filthy rags in my sight we have no glory of our own we have no righteousness of our own it's not about me shining it, it is about taking whatever i have and giving it to him and he does whatever he wants with it and it's always been that way it's always going to be that way if i never put out a gospel song it's still that way songs that i sang that i thought were sing i was singing about a man have changed into the ministry of god to me it really is about who God is to you. Um, it's All Right has become that song where I hear the Lord in the morning. He says, hello, my love, before the sun rises, after it goes down. I love you. I love you. I say it over and over again. Nobody loves me before the sun rises and after it goes down every day. <laughs> every wow. day. Nobody every day. but Jesus loves me like that. And it is about him reassuring me. It's all right. It's all right. I know stuff has gone on and stuff is going on and it's going to keep going on. But we have to know who we are in Christ. If we're in Christ, if we are, he said, you have to know whether you are or not. But what I love is that no matter what it is, one plants, one waters, and the God gives the increase. Whatever mm. it is, that little piece, that little moment that you hear something about who God is, that little moment where you smile at somebody and they don't even know you haven't even said a word. Sometimes that's the little piece of piece of God that they get. And we get stuck on having this preaching thing or I got to sing a gospel song or I got to, you know, be at church. No, we are the church. Either we are or we're not. Amen. Amen. I like that. And, you know, it's all right because you know what? He got the right one. <laughs> so <laughs> let's talk about this song that you wrote, Right One. I love the video, by the way. I, I, I watched it and um, it is you're such a unique artist. So uh, <laughs> talk to us about this inspiration for this song. Of course, it's God, well, but you yeah, know what I mean. Yeah, it, it's I've been through a lot and I love the way God has redeemed the time that that he's given me or that I have spent. <laughs> I, I, I am a lover of love. I love um, being in love. I love relationships of all kinds. I love my girlfriends who are my girls and we hang and those are my girls mm -hmm. and my friendships with them. And I love being in love and serving the man I love and making him happy. I love Jesus most of all. And I love that he loves me so much. And he's just taught me that that's what's most important, that it's easier when I let him lead. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's better when I submit myself to his way 
and not just my way. We always have a way that seems right to us. But in the end, you know, we really have to acknowledge him and really get what he wants out of it. And I've made a lot of choices that I felt like I've gone too far. I've gone too far. Grace is done. Grace is done. God is done with me. <laughs> not you. Not Shantae oh, Moore. Yes. No. Honey, please. And that's <laughs> the beautiful part about it. There are people who who idealize and think, oh, you know, not you. You can't. You couldn't have been broken up with or you couldn't have had your heart hurt or you couldn't have been the one who hurt somebody else's heart or you couldn't have failed God or you couldn't have walked away from Jesus or you couldn't have gone to Jesus you know I, there are so many things that people have in their heads that are that are compartmentalized and we have a way of viewing life and people that is not realistic but what I really want people to get is that God can use everything the ugly part of your life or that beautiful part of your life you may think you're perfect, but that may be the wrong place for you to be. To so to find not just a good man, but the right man, the right one at the right time <laughs> with the right love. Mm -hmm. And he saved my life. He really did. My life. I, I really felt like it was over. And uh, the Lord just wrapped me up and picked me up and uh, loved me. Amen. Back to God. Amen. That's such a beautiful testimony. You know, what advice can you give other artists who are listening to you right now? who um, uh, sort of are, are wavering on, on, on where they are between the secular and also the, uh, the gospel in terms of where God wants them to be. I just say remember the scriptures. We had to read the word. The word is for us to refer to and to uh, take example from. Jesus wasn't just at church. He turned the table over at, quote unquote, the marketplace mm -hmm. and the church. He frowned at the Pharisees. Uh, he was with the people. And so I wouldn't worry about what other people think. You do what God told you to do. If he said be a gospel artist and don't you sing one word uh, that is not about Jesus alone, then that's what you better do. If he said sing this, this, and this, and you can sing about love this way and that way, because God has given me the grace and the capability and the capacity to sing about love man to woman and love from him to me and me to him that is what i was born to do and so i would say find out what god wants from you don't don't worry about what the world will judge uh they are not who you stand in front of at the end god is who you stand in front of god is the one who has to bless your life or not bless your life uh so trust what he says he said lean not to your own understanding and all your ways acknowledge him and he'll direct your path so don't worry about what people think church folks don't judge you they right or wrong don't matter the world don't judge you right or wrong don't matter if god backs you up who stands against you who tell me who there's no god <laughs> amen uh, as you were saying that i'm just sitting here thinking about the uh, aretha franklin movie and the mm -hmm. conversation she had to have with her dad, C.L. Franklin. And then I'm thinking yeah. about you, Miss Shante Moore, and the conversation you probably had to have with your dad when you said, I'm going to be singing and it's not probably going to be church music. And I just imagine what that conversation was. He, was he very, very supportive of you and your parents? You know, my mother was more of the vocal one. My father was out preaching. <laughs> ah, gotcha. Um, he was home. Not even he wasn't home, but he didn't have anything to say about what I was doing as far as that's concerned. Gotcha. Uh, my mother just said, be a woman of integrity. Mm. Sing what you sing. And so I didn't do a lot of baby and I didn't sing songs about sex. I sang about love. And this is true. Songs about like oh you know and touch my body and do yeah. that. There are some songs now as I become a mature woman that I will sing about a sexual situation, but it won't ever be you know drop it, pop it. Yeah. You know, I'm just like <laughs> that's not what I sing about. That's not what I want to sing about. I yeah. want to sing about the emotion that makes my 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 heart smile, and it's not sex that makes my heart smile. <laughs> it's it's the love that makes me happy. It's the love that stays in a marriage sometimes sex goes away because of whatever reason it is there are many reasons why it could go away but are you still going to love them are you still going to stay in the midst of cancer are you going to stay in the midst of a, a paraplegic you know, you have to really think about these things you say till death do us part sickness and health so that's what you got to think about it's not about that one act that's not and people think about marriage as that one day it's a lifetime we're supposed to give to one another. Now, mind you, I've been married three times, so clearly it ain't always going to last forever. <laughs> <laughs> we hope Amen. so. <laughs> yeah, that's true. 
That's but true. it doesn't always do that. That is so true. I could spend more time with you unpacking so many things. I, I hope that you, you know, come back and spend more time with us on Road Gospel, Miss Shante Moore. Uh, the current song is called Right One and shouts out to Uncle G Lyons, my good buddy and friend. And uh, where can the listeners find out more about your music and find out more about you? Well, um, at I Am Shante Moore is my, excuse me, one second. <laughs> I started talking and started laughing at <laughs> Um, at I am Shante Moore is my Instagram. My Facebook is Shante Moore Fans. There are many of them that are not me out there. I don't know why. Facebook is just you know why they just steal stuff. <laughs> they steal stuff. I don't know what's wrong with them. But um, but you can find also ShanteMoore dot com. But go to um, iTunes. You can go to all the outlets, all the streaming uh, outlets. There, it's all there. So um, if you want to find me, I'm not hard to find. YouTube is easy. <laughs> Amen. But uh, but if you look for me, I'll be there. Amen. The one and only Shante Moore. Thank you so, so much for spending time with us on Real Gospel. It's been my pleasure. Thank you for having me here today. You're listening to Real Gospel with the X-Men. And the real flashback song of the hour is on the way. Do you have an idea for a book, fiction, nonfiction, or a children's book? We can help you put it together and bring it to market at Dorrance Publishing. We have thousands of testimonials from people just like you that we've helped get their books sold in stores and online. We've even got a service called The Writer's Coach. It's perfect for people that have a book idea in their head and they just need someone to help them put it on paper. Dorrance Book Publishing has been helping people just like you who have a book idea, written or not, for over 100 years. Imagine being counted among the most famous authors in the world with your very own book. Call right now and let us help you turn a book idea into reality. It's easier than you think. You just need a little help. Call us now. 800-413-4861. 800-413-4861. 800-413-4861. That's 800-413-4861.